Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Actually, no, no, no. Pause. Pause that question. Pause that question. Wait, 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 wait. Something. Something happened to me that I haven't talked about at all, and this is the perfect opportunity to talk about. I get this email from this guy. They do like non-for-profit tours. Funnily enough, they reached out to me as a preferred artist for their tour in the summer. Now, I was extremely, extremely skeptical about this. Looked at the references, looked at the website. It was all legit. They wanted me on their tour in the summer. Are you hearing <laughs> what I'm saying? And the reason I haven't talked about this is because I'm not going to do this for a multitude of reasons, but it would be for the Illa Boy stuff. Are you serious? Yes, I'm I'm dead serious right now. And like, they've been doing this tour for years. And I'm just like, I couldn't believe that. I really couldn't. Cause I didn't think that Nebula was that good. Like I think it was really good, but I don't think it was good enough to put me on a tour. I made that album in my room with my computer. I'm not a professional masterer or rapper of anything, but I turned it down. <laughs> I turned it down. One, I'm in a long distance relationship right now and she comes home in the summer. This tour was in the summer and I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that if I went on this tour, it would drastically affect our relationship. So that was a fact, that was a huge factor. And then the other thing is I'm building a video editing business. And if I went on this tour, that business would basically die because I don't think there's any way I could do both. I don't think there's a way where I could do the tour life and then also edit for other people because I would need internet access. I would have so many mental breakdowns. And so it would be this huge thing that would probably wreck me. So I can say that I turned down being on a tour. <laughs> and that's weird to say. And that's very weird to say, but I'm kind of proud to say it. Because of this situation, it made me realize what I actually want to do with my life. I think music is great and I love making music. I just make songs in my bedroom. Like I love to make music, sure, on occasion, but I don't think that's my calling. Like I don't think that's what I'm primarily supposed to do. I think making music is great and I think a lot more people should do it even if it's experimental. You learn a lot about yourself when you make music. It's the weirdest thing. Make them about anything. That's the fun thing about creative writing. You can literally write about anything. You don't have to perform in front of people. That's not what I'm saying at all. Like you can write from like your own comfort of your own room. You're never going to be anything. Okay, first of all, who is that directed to? Second of all, that is false. I don't believe that in anybody in this chat right now. I believe that everybody has the potential to be whatever they want if they put in the hard work and effort. This is micro content for real. Saying that I turned down being on a tour. <laughs> I'm kind of happy. It's, it's weird. I'm kind of happy to say it though. It's great. It's like you can just make it for yourself. You don't have to publish it anywhere. Like that's up to you. It's like a painting, right? It's like putting a painting in a museum. Sure, you can paint your painting. You can leave it in your house, sure, but there's something about putting it in a public place like a museum, you know, to be admired by other people. I think that's cool. 